Hi guys. Well, um, on popular request, I decided to do a walkthrough of this model. Um, my last video uh, about this uh, telescopic hydraulic forklift or uh, teleloader, uh, it comes under different names, um, the unboxing. You can see it on my channel. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this. And uh, some of you asked me to go through this, uh, the details of this model. Um, the model uh, itself is a mixture of metal, but the cabin and the engine cowl are plastic. Otherwise, um, the axles, the booms uh, and the chassis are all uh, metal. It is a four-wheel drive model, so all there's drive in all wheels. With uh, they all have their own differentials, and the rear axle is dynamic. The model itself weighs almost ten kilograms, so it's a uh, it's a uh, it's quite a heavy model. Um, so those of you who watched my unboxing video, I had a little problem with this, as you can see, one of the steering linkages. Uh, here uh, was broken on the transport so um, these two uh, front wheels are supposed to turn with each other but um, I'm going to get that sorted out I've contacted the manufacturer and he has promised to help so I'll also let you guys know how their uh, customer service is well like I said the model is just under 10 kilograms it comes uh, without sound without light uh, but otherwise uh, full ready to run hydraulic model all you have to do is put your battery and fill uh, the hydraulic fluid now uh, for those of you wondering where the hydraulic tank is it's this little box there this is the supply and this is the return um, oh. and um, I filled it with about I think it was 55 milliliters I, I used to fill it up uh, with a syringe so I just unscrewed this and with a syringe I put uh, 55 milliliters of uh, hydraulic fluid now uh, all the lights come unmounted that means all these the mirrors you have to mount them yourself uh, those of you who are very vigilant will notice that I'm missing one of these uh, side lights uh, uh, the bar with the side lights I also uh, didn't get the mounting bracket for it so it's lying there and together with the broken axle the supplier has agreed to send me uh, a replacement now let's see uh, how long that takes anyway the lights I have mounted I have put my company my RC company logo of course and a few stickers to just personalize it after my own taste and um, it comes with the standard, for, like you see most of the models, uh, FR, or is it FS, uh, I6S, uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, remote model. Now there are thousands of videos on YouTube about how to use this, so um, I don't have to go through it. Uh, one thing I'd say is that I like my hydraulic models to only run the hydraulic pump when I need it. So as you can see here, the pump is not running, but when I attempt to raise the boom, it turns on and as soon as I finish, it turns off. Uh, some people let their pumps continue running throughout. It really gets on my nerves, so it irritates me and, 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 and it, it also has a lot of wear and tear on the system, also overheating, so I decide to mix it. You can learn how to mix these models on the internet. Now, this door is functional. It's difficult with one hand, but um, trust me, it does open. It's also, you can also divide it in two. I have put my driver there and a few uh, a few accessories, his refreshments and a few beverages. So it fits in the 118, uh, 114 scale that most of these construction models are all about. Now, Something uh, quite important uh, uh, that you guys asked for was uh, how long is the model, what is the stretch when it comes out and all that. 
So I'll just uh, go through that for you guys so you can see and measure it so you can get all that information. This is the arm. I'm going to take it up. All right, as you can see, the arm is up and uh, the manufacturer uh, states in the specifications that when the boom is not out, it can lift up to four kilograms. Now, I don't doubt that because it's a very beefy hydraulic cylinder that is uh, wrapped, that it's lying, that's lying there. So um, that's, that's I, I think I agree with that. Um, However, when you stretch out the arm, which I'm going to do now, uh, the lifting weight, uh, naturally due to common principle of moments and physics, reduces to 1.5 kilograms. Now that is more than enough in our RC scale uh, setting. So I'll just measure the height. And from the bottom of the wheel to the top, you can see the measurement there. So just above 60 centimeters. Uh, and if we measure the boom alone, it's about 53. If we have to measure the length of the truck itself from the end of the of the part there uh, to the front it's just above 40 centimeters and from the bottom of the ground to the top is about about 20. the width of the model which we would see here is also just above or around 20 centimeters. So you have the height, you have the length, and you have the stretch. Um, I'll just take this down. You can see how it functions. And we'll take that down also. Now, <clears throat> it has for the attachments and like I mentioned in my previous video it comes with three attachments it comes with the fork uh, for lifting things it comes with the grab or grapple and it comes with a bucket a shovel and a uh, cool feature of this is that you can just uh, with the remote control uh, hands-free pick them up and you get them locked with these little locking hydraulic mechanism so that means there's a hydraulic uh, ram here there's a hydraulic ram to move this uh, uh, up and down that's two so that's two there's a hydraulic arm here that shoots out the 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 boom that's three and then there's a hydraulic arm that lifts the arm up. That's four. So that's four hydraulic uh, rams in, 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 in this model. And let's see, am I forgetting anything? Uh, no, that's about it. So the, the, the steering it, it is done by two motors, uh, and sorry, two servos. There's one here, and there's another one under the boom there. And what the servos do is that they turn the wheels uh, at the same time so the left and the right wheel would turn at the, at the same time and and if you notice what it does I'll just use the, the the wheel that's working on this side you can see when one side turns uh, to the left the other one turns to the right and that makes sure that you have a very tight uh, 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 turning ability uh, in tight spaces, which is how the uh, uh, models are in real life. Um, you may have noticed, some might think that this model is too big, but you may have, you may have noticed that this uh, particular uh, teleloader comes 
in different sizes in real life, just like forklifts. You have some that are small and you have some that are larger. Sometimes they use the larger ones for bigger constructions and they can polish in windows. And then you can also have small ones that just lift uh, small weights around the warehouses. All right. Um, I also wanted to show you the battery compartment. Now it runs on a 3S uh, LiPo. Uh, the manufacturer uh, states uh, that you make sure it's a fully charged 3S LiPo because if you put a battery that is lower than its normal uh, voltage, it can uh, uh, confuse your receiver and, and, and mess up your settings. Now I haven't tried that so I don't know uh, uh, how that, what, what it actually distorts but that's in the warning so just make sure you use a fully charged battery. Um, underneath I can see there's actually a switch here to switch on and off. I never noticed that until just uh, early today. So um, if, you, if you want to use it instead of unplugging that's a, a, an option. Here I can see the ESCs that uh, control the hydraulic pump and that's the hydraulic uh, motor, hydraulic pump motor in there. So um, that's where the battery goes. For those of you that uh, uh, asked about the price, well, depending on where you look, I don't want to recommend any particular person or website. I'm not being sponsored by anybody. So um, you just have to Google it. If you Google it, you'll see it on sale different places. And uh, the price ranges from between uh, three to the equivalent of three to four thousand uh, US dollars, depending on which site you're buying from and what I guess the customer service they, they offer and which uh, risks you're willing to take. One of the last things I wanted to uh, show you guys was the click system in the hydraulics here. The click system is because the grapple also uses hydraulics. So the grapple has two more uh, hydraulic uh, rams in addition to the ones I mentioned on this model. So you, 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 this is where you, you, you click them out and put the, the grapple in so that you can have the grapple function. Uh, by and large, it's uh, an okay model. It's, uh, it's nice. Uh, the only other equivalent of this model out there is the one made uh, by another company, uh, Turkish-German company. Uh, they're quite similar. The other one has a few other features, but uh, the price is also totally different. So um, I, I think by and large, uh, so far, even though I haven't played with it yet, but uh, uh, because of the, the broken steering, but I, I think it's a good model. Um, yeah. If you have any experience with RCs, you should be able to, to put lights in it, no problem. Put your work light and uh, add a few effects. Um, I have to get time to do that. Uh, otherwise, I think uh, the build quality is, uh, is, is quite, quite decent and I would uh, I'd definitely uh, not hesitate getting this kind of model uh, again in the future. Well. That's about it guys. Uh, if you'd missed the unboxing, I'd put a, a link to the unboxing uh, at the end of this video. If you enjoyed uh, the video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, there are some videos like this I've made previously and more videos to come. Uh, you can also help by giving it a like. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Well, until next time guys, uh, feel free to comment or ask any questions uh, down below and I'll try to answer them best I can. Have a nice day and bye.